Hello and welcome back or welcome to my channel if you are new here. My name is Aisha and today we have my winter project use it up introduction finally. I know we're like over a week deep into October. It's took me a little while but if you guys watched my shop, my stash and organise and declutter my stash video you guys know that it's it was a it was a marathon, not a sprint. It really took me some time to organise these videos, organise my filming schedule and just everything. So we're finally here with my project, which I honestly would say it's like a 90% Bath and Body Works project at this point. Like so much Bath and Body Works I wanted to get used up in my collection, which is so exciting. So we'll go through those. I just want to start off two things. If you can hear the construction noise in the background, I am so sorry. I have waited all day to film this video, wait for my lunch break off work. And the guys have decided to start, I don't know, sawing something. I don't know. It sounds like they're like crumple and metal. It's that loud. Second point, my hair. Okay. My hair has been such a funny like point in my videos recently, but I tried my curly method on my awkward length hair, shall we say. It's giving Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. It's giving curly ears. I don't know. We're just, <laughs> we're just going to go with it. Anyway, so from the thumbnail you guys saw... Big old basket of stuff. That is not the only one. We also have a big old basket of carryovers. So we'll jump right in because that's all the chit chat I had really. And it's gonna be a long one. So this basket is the stuff I am carrying over from the summer project. And that is either because they got so much use that I may as well just finish them, or I think they could be a good wintery scent or a good transition at least. Yeah, probably should actually explain the project. So basically a project use it up is just grabbing a load of products that you want to use in that season. For me right now it's winter. I personally am not a big fall autumn fan so I skip out on that for like the October, September, October, November time. I go straight in with winter. Winter projects last for me, October, November, December, January, February, it's five months of the year. It's my longest project of the year. I want to make sure that I'm covering everything in that project. So that's going to be transitional sense for October as the winter really sets in and it gets real cold. Um, December sense, obviously Christmas, New Year, lots of parties, lots of things going on. And then into January, February, it's still cold, starts to warm up slightly. February, we've got Valentine's Day. Like, do you know what I mean? There's just always something going on throughout these months. So I want to make sure the project reflects that. Again, I'm gonna say this is kind of a project user up, but mostly just a project use. Like, use some of these things from my collection that I've not really had much of a go on. Um, and just like, explore my collection, but also get you some products, because as you guys saw from my collection organization video, I needed to make some room. So some of these have got to get moving. So I'll start on the summer basket that I'm carrying over. Like I said, it's either because they got use, or I'm just happy to carry on using them into the cold weather. So one that I'm ta definitely taking over to get used up is my Among the Clouds set. This pains me honestly because I love this set. Like it's so aesthetically beautiful. It's just like the most gorgeous packaging but the scent is so basic and honestly I'm probably just going to keep the packaging. I know it's ridiculous but this, this scent's just so basic. It's just a sugary sweet kind of berry scent. I do quite enjoy it. I just I used it in the shower last night and I was like yeah, this is just very generic. Um, so the shower gel is what I've been using since I closed out the summer project. So I closed out the summer project here. As you can see, I have been using it. So there's literally like, what, a third left in the bottle. I had to like, say, I've enjoyed it. It's just really generic. It is Wildberry Skies and Whipped Vanilla Clouds. Very generic DNA that they bring out all of the time. Then have the scrub to go with that. Again, I've used this since the summer project. So end of the summer project here. I'd say it's now like down here. So a couple more uses, I'll get this used up. This has been my focus scrub, seeing as I have like used half of it. And then the body butter, again, I've got some use, like I'm actually hitting the bottom of the tub now. So really not much left, but like it is a body butter, so they always do take a bit longer to go through because they're so thick. I'll re reweigh it and everything, but I'm gonna take the summer like finale marks as where they ended because this is still October use. I was using this since the beginning of October, so. We'll throw that in there as a kind of a like com comfort blanket. Like at least I'm going to use something up in this project because I know they got to go. And then I have this cherry set that I'm also going to carry over. I have so many cherry items in my collection that needs to get used. So this is just going to be a good start for me because this shower gel is so bulky. It's such a weird shape in my collection. This is um, one I got in Turkey. It's just a generic cherry shower gel. Um, it just smells very like medicinal. Kind of like sweets. Like cherry drop sweets very easy and I'm sure my family will jump in on this if I need some help and then I have the treacle moon scrub honestly I just really want to give these formulas a go because they're just so cheap and accessible um, that one I didn't get any use of in the spring in the summer project and then I have this midnight cherry from next this is a very wintry cherry like it's a it's a very florally 
powdery airy kind of scent i think this will work really nice in the cold crisp winter it worked nice in the summer as well because it was that like floralness and i was wearing it to like work and stuff but i think especially because of like the almond note and the jasmine and like the vanilla i think it could be a winter scent as well so that's where we ended it in the summer project i mean ideally of course i'd love to finish it but you'll see and then i have two generic mists that are also carrying over no guesses for what these are my sweet squeeze which is my gym scent which also has had some use since the summer project it was here and now it's here so i'm hoping we can get this used up in the winter and then my love spell from victoria's secret i have a couple of these in my collection it is my signature scent i don't feel myself without it and especially with christmas new year birthdays everything coming up i need one of these in my life so um but this will probably be the last one i'll put in a project um and then i'll just use it organically but yeah i have three so i need to get one at least one out and i have two pocket bags that i am carrying over um i also had a market peach one that i lost in the gym which was devastating and i finished up all the other summer ones so it's just these two left the frosted cranberry which is expired but i don't mind using it as a scent booster and then a champagne toast which is halfway done and will go into my work bag so that is the carryover from the summer that is 10 products we are carrying over all of which i would be pretty happy to get used up now onto the winter bin let's go i think i remember to line all these if not i do have my trusty sharpie just in case um to be honest most of them are completely brand new so we'll start out with this set which is a very obvious one this is dream Bright. if you guys watched my collection video you saw that most of these products were going bad already which is so frustrating but now it makes a lot of sense of why these were so deeply discounted in the recent well, not the most recent sale but the sale before that i also managed to pick up some more dream break um items in the most recent sale which i'm waiting to do the haul on so I have even more coming into my collection, so I just thought, you know what, let's get this used up. And again, it's just a very generic perfumey kind of scent. I do really enjoy it as a perfumey scent, but I find that I'll probably be able to repurchase it in, like, a similar fragrance in the future. Or if not, there's loads of this ready available in the sale, and, like, I'm sure I could grab it on, like, Vinted if I was desperate, but I'm really not that desperate. I have the Moisturising Body Wash. This one is Sapphire Berries, Night Blooming Orchid, and Crystallised Vanilla. It is actually only from 2022. Was it 2022's, like special um edition like winter scent new one around christmas it's used like a perfumey one like there was like um was it luminous last year this was the year before yeah it's just very generic perfumey kind of just smells like a generic cheap perfume just like sweet berries and then perfume but yeah this moisturizing body wash it looks in good okay condition but i just thought seeing as the rest of it i might as well just get some use out of it so i don't mind if i don't finish that up the main concern was the cream the fact that this is only two years old and the lid is already changed in color from how yellow this cream is so i definitely want to get this used up this will definitely be a night time but i'm saying that like my bed sheets are gonna end up yellow but yeah no it does it does smell really really good this could be a good like pre-night out one as well because it is so heavy you can lay it with other scents both of them brand new same with the scrub i have two of these so i may as well use one and this is the exfoliate and glow scrub and i do have some other forms of like the perfume and spray on the way to me in this one but i already have on hand the diamond shimmer mist which i think will be really cool for winter i wear a lot of black i go out still quite a bit like i do enjoy a nice winter night out like cocktails and a meal and things so i thought this would be fun um and it has like the nice glitter reflect in there i actually have a big birthday on saturday that i'm going to and i'm going to give this a try see how i like it as the first set in the winter project my next set is also a little bit of an obvious one and that is champagne toast in this gorgeous pretty ballet pink faceted collection again this one was because the cream was a little bit of a concern it when i first opened it it had like oil droplets on the top and it is starting to go but as freakier shade of yellow is dream bright but still pretty yellow um this one is bubbly champagne sparkling berries and juicy tangerine i do really enjoy this um oh it just it's just so feminine and cute to be honest is it much different from dream bright not really i guess it's just the tangerine that kind of gives it that different something a bit different so i also have the mini which i always take on like nights out with me as well so um so i'll probably get extra use on that and then i have the shower gel also have Two of these so we will use one and then the spray which is like i say isn't a massive concern because i have the mini which i'll use up and then i have other backups of other packaging in this but yeah champagne toast really is just one of my favorites it has a little bit of a scent memory for me so i'm ready to make a new one with this scent i'm ready to push past that and get some use in it because i really really do enjoy it it's just a very like 
comfort and familiar me scent. Okay. And then next up we have another accumulation. Like you guys know, I just love throwing a lot of products together that I think are gonna work and just creating a big amalgamation of scents. So this one is basically gonna be like a berry, plummy, vanilla -y kind of set. So this one has two shower gels. It has Winterberry Wonder from Bath & Body Works, which is a very basic, Berry scent is Ruby Frost Winterberry, Sparkling Cranberry and Crystal Vanilla. And then I have the Body Shop Love and Plums, which is a plum and peony scent. Super easy to get through, super familiar. I've used these pretty much every winter since I started this channel. Like these are my go-to winter scents. When I want something familiar, when I something I know that I like, I can go straight to these. I know that if my family are in a pinch, these will they will just borrow these, I don't mind at all. Winterberry Wonder is brand new. Uh, Love and Plums does have some use, it's just at where the label starts. So super easy to get used up, like just things I can throw out of my collection real quickly. And then moisturisers, I have the matching Winterberry Wonder. The cap on this one is broke, like it doesn't twist, it's broke basically. Um, So I don't mind getting this used up, although I do love the packaging on this one. This one's Ruby Frost Winterberry, Sparkling Cranberry and Crystal Vanilla, like I said. I've gone through a couple of these in my time of using Bath & Body Works and yeah, it's just one that I know I really enjoy. And then I have the Aromatherapy Blackcurrant and Cedarwood. This is just Blackcurrant and Cedarwood. It says, inspired by the coolness of the winter season, enhance your aromatherapy routine with this blend of blackcurrant and cedarwood essential oils. Um, not like too much of a concern. Like colour wise, you can see the packaging has starting to get a little bit of a yellow tinge. Um, this one's from 2021, one of my older creams. I also have a very similar lotion um, to this and I just thought it was, I don't know, I just kind of wanted to use it, why not? It smells so good. It does smell like outside and berries, like deep. Oh, I really enjoy this. You guys know, I love a good berry. Um, this kind of whole <laughs> winter, when I look at it, I've got cherries, I've got wildberry skies in the Among the Clouds, I've got whatever the berry is in Dream Bright, there's berries in Champagne Toast, there's berries in everything. It's a very berry-ish project, but it's what I love, so I'm happy about that. Um, so that is the second cream in here, like say, I just a big amalgamation. I'm gonna try cross-checking them, like going with the shower gel and this cream and this and I don't know, we'll give them a go. And then I threw two different mists in there. I have the uh, Victoria's Secrets Blackberry Fizz. This one is Blackberry Sorbet Velvet Dahlia Shine Bright. I've had this in my collection for, oh my gosh, so long. Was this from 2021? I don't know, I feel like it should be older than that. Mmm, it is good. It's kind of like a softer perfumey version of this spot red and cedarwood. Definitely get Dahlia. It's a little bit more grown. I think it would work really nice with Dream Bright as well. So throw that one in there. And then a little curveball, we've got the Snowflakes and Cashmere. This one, I can never remember the notes and the fact that I don't have them, but is it some sort of like caramelized something? Some kind of like orange or be I'm gonna put them here because I'm not even gonna try and remember. I have so many of these in my collection. I had five at one point. I had decluttered some. Oh gosh, <laughs> it's broke. <laughs> oh no! Oh, I think this was the defected one that I got given. Okay, well, we're gonna have to do something about that. Oh yeah, it just like spills out the top. Okay, great. Well, don't know what I'm gonna do about that. I thought it was weird that it had some use on it. I don't remember using the spray. Like I know I used the lotion and the shower gel last year. Okay, well, we'll figure that out. If I can't figure it out, then I will just use the other one in my collection or I could decant it into like a little mini bottle. We'll figure this out. But yeah, I thought this would be nice to throw in, especially when Starry Wonder because it has that vanilla note. But I do really enjoy it. It's just kind of like a deeper, definitely unisex, vanilla-y kind of scent. I'll figure that out. Um, and then I have a miscellaneous, very sexy night from Victoria's Secret in the mini. I got this in like a stocking at Christmas at one point, And I just thought this would be perfect to have with me on like nights out and things. It's just, ooh. Ooh, it's a very sexy kind of smell. Very date night. Deep, dark, sexy, bordering unisex. I don't know what's in this, but it smells really good, but I had this for ages, so I just wanted to get it used up. And I have a couple of hand soaps, and I don't usually do hand soaps, but these are kind of like, need to get used, and why not? Let's Chill Arctic Berry is Snow Kiss Berries, Ice Pomegranate, and Cedarwood. Perfect for December. 
Let It Snow, a twist of peppermint, cold peppermint, sugar snow and aromatic balsam. Again, another one for December. Probably bathroom, kitchen. And then I have this wild berry and plum. I have two of these, so I just thought we'd get one used up probably October, November time. And then I have three more pocket bags because these are going to expire by the end of the year. So they won't last till next winter. And yeah, they are literally all expiring in December. So I need to use them. I have a black cherry mellow. Love black cherry mellow. Among the clouds, very fitting. And then another champagne toast, but I don't mind that at all. So that is everything in the project. Oh my gosh, my head is spinning. Did I even show lines and everything? Basically everything was brand new, except for the smoothie and cashmere and the love and plums. Everything else has like no use on it. I can't believe I forgot about this being broken. I don't know, I wonder if there's just no, oh my gosh, wait, there's no straw in the bottle? Okay, I'll figure something out about that. I do have a couple of minis I could decant it into. Anyway, that is everything I want to get used up this winter. Like I say, a lot of berry-ish themes, but love what I love and loads to try new of to get some use on my collection. Let me guys know what you're planning on using this winter or even coming into fall and autumn. You guys know I'm not a massive like pumpkin gourmand, spicy like scent kind of gal, so I just skip straight to my cold berry scents apparently. Um, thank you so much for watching and next one will be a haul from the recent next clearance sale. I'm still waiting on a couple of packages which is so frustrating and then we'll go from there. It'll probably be time to update project by then. No one wait time flies. I hope you guys are having a great October so far and I will see you in the next one. Bye!